Hey everybody, it's Lori from Scraps by Sissy. I'm a little late, sorry. Um, I was on the phone with the groomer, hoping I could get Chloe in, the poor little shaggy thing. She looks... <laughs> you guys think you have hair problems? Try being a two inch tall Pomeranian who hasn't been groomed in three months. That poor thing. And of course I try to help her out a little bit and uh, it's just a hack job. But they were answering phones, just not taking any appointments yet. And, of course, he wanted to chat at that point. And I raced back in here, and Larry's out in the garage cutting things. And, you know, just one of those mornings. Woohoo! <laughs> Hi, Beth. I see you joined. Thank you. Um, so today we're doing a... Now, I know it's not a new technique, but it's new to me. And I had seen this, oh, it's been three or four months ago, and I've been meaning to do one of these. So basically, it is heat embossing with white embossing powder and then coloring with our Stampin' Blends. So I'll give you the measurements on our card today. The card base is in Pineapple Punch, which is a retiring, in fact, all the colors I'm using today are retiring. So the Pineapple Punch card pineapple punch card base is cut at eight and a half by five and a half and it's scored at four and a quarter my whisper white is cut i actually need to cut two at three and a quarter by four and a quarter because one goes on the inside and then i'm using a piece of the 2018 2020 in color designer series paper and it's cut at three inches by four inches and it's in the blueberry bushel uh, color. You can see my oval is not very straight there. Oh well. So we'll go ahead and get started. Um, I had planned on heat embossing while I was, you know, in front of the camera, but I don't have enough plug space, so I'll have to go off camera long enough to do that. We are using the Hoot Hoot Hooray stamp set. Now this is one that if you had been looking for it in the annual catalog, you never would have found it because it's in our, hi Lynn, it, this stamp set is actually, it was in our beginner's brochure and will be retiring at the end of the year. It's just a fun little stamp set that uh, for coloring, for just making quick little notes or cards or whatever, but it's a fun little stamp set. The thing I liked about it to do this technique is it gives you some uh, broad lines for your image that so made the coloring easier. So we'll go ahead and get started. So my black, basic black piece is cut is cut with the largest, largest stitched die in the oval from the stitched shapes uh, die set. Blah, 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 blah. Too much uh, coffee this morning, I think. That and I was rushing around, hurrying to get in here so I could get started, and I was still late. So I'm going to stamp in Versamark ink, which is a watermark ink. And we'll just stamp it right about there. And then we're going to add some white embossing powder. I like to keep it in this little tub. It makes it a lot easier for sprinkling your embossing powder and not get it everywhere, although I still tend to. So you're just gonna sprinkle it on here like so. Make sure you got everything covered. And I just turn it over and flick it, okay? And you can see there's a, some, uh, oops, let's just put a little bit more on that Y. Okay, now I'm going to heat emboss this right across the table from me, and uh, I'll be right back in just a second. So for people who have never embossed, you can see how dull the embossing powder is on the basic black. Hi, Carrie, I see you joined us. So I'll be right back. Let me heat emboss this. You can look at that card in the meantime.
Okay. So once you've heat embossed it with your heat gun, you can see how shiny that image becomes, and that's from the embossing powder melting. So now we're gonna do the fun part. We are using the Lovely Lipstick, Call Me Clover, and Pineapple Punch stamping blends. Those are our alcohol markers. And I chose to use the dark ones when I colored the flower. It just They just showed up better. And then you're just going to run your blender pin right over the embossing powder. Now, when I when you do this, as it's as the alcohol starts to dry, it looks like it is fading, and your first reaction is going to start recoloring. I did that on my first go round, and you can see how dark the leaves got and kind of blotchy looking. So I, it it took away from the neon effect to it. So just I would just go over and pass maybe once or twice and call it good. And then, hi Jen, hi Sherry. We're coloring with our blends on emboss white embossing powder. So you're just going to do one or two passes over it. And then we're gonna use the pineapple punch for the flower center. And it almost has a neon effect which is what I liked about it. I know there was some kind of a, a toy when we were kids. Now granted, my age group and your age group might be a little different, but I remember something that you could draw on, kind of like an Etch-a-Sketch, and it was colored underneath. I couldn't think of it for the life of me, and I still can't, so if you think of it, leave me a note in the comments. It's kind of hard to Google that stuff. I'm just going to come over and finish our little flower, just like so. And you can see spots that you've missed. Again, be careful as you color. You don't want to dull the color by putting too much of the alcohol ink on it. Let's see. Let's just go over this guy right here. There. Isn't that pretty? I just love the way that pops. So we'll put our card together, let him dry a little bit. And again, we're using Pineapple Punch. And this is the 2018-2020 Designer Series paper. I'll just add some snail. Oh, and by the way, the snail is retiring too. We're gonna have some new and better adhesive. Actually, we're gonna have two different kinds. I'm really excited about that. So you're just gonna glue that there. And then we're going to add some of the white polka dot ribbon. Guess what? I forgot my scissors. Hang tight. I didn't think I was going to get through this without forgetting something. At least I brought my tape over. So we're just going to do the cheater method by taping the ends to the back like this. This ribbon's really forgiving, and when you have a piece that's kind of short, it does a lot of stretching. So it makes your faux bow fairly easy to tie. So we're going to go ahead and add this to the card front with dimensionals. You like this, Jen? <laughs> like I said earlier, this is something I've been wanting to do for a long time, and when I found out the Hoot Hoot Hooray stamp set was retiring, I wanted to give it one last bit of love, and I thought this was the perfect thing to do with it. Okay, so we'll add that. We'll glue this guy down. I can't wait to try our new adhesive. Oh, I still got some embossing powder on here. That shows it's handmade, right? I'll glue that together. Add some more dimensionals. Where did I put them? Here they are. See how dirty I can make my desk, right? I just leave things everywhere. Larry and I had this conversation yesterday. Yes, when I moved into my studio, I had so much room in here. It just made me, just gave me more room to mess up, right? So let's try and get this under here. Just gonna feed that under, 
and then you're just going to tie it in a knot. And the reason I do this after I added the oval is so that I can adjust it and know right where I want my knot. So just tie it, just trim it a little bit. So there's the outside. Oh, we need to add some pearls. It's not one of my cards without bling, right? And I thought the pearls were really good on the black. This really made it pop. One more over here. Okay, now we'll do the inside. We're going to stamp the same flower, and we're going to use the tuxedo black because we're going to use the same markers. I'm just going to... Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to mask the words because I don't want the words on there. So I'll just put these here, just like so. Oh, you know what? Let's not do that because I know what's going to happen. I know that when I pull that scotch tape off, I'm going to have black ink everywhere. So we'll just get a fresh piece, just like so. We'll ink our flower. Take the tape off and we'll stamp our flower. See how that works? Much better when it's cleaned off. So now we're gonna color. Okay, we're all done with this stuff. And then we'll start with the dark, lovely lipstick. Now these blends are retiring because they are part of the end color. So if you don't have this in your set, you may wanna Get them now before they disappear. In color stuff tends to disappear. I'm not doing this very well. I'm being kind of messy. But the in colors tend to disappear in a hurry. So I'll just color the leaves or the petals. Just like so. And I'm going to use the dark pineapple punch again because I really wanted the yellow to pop. I think even after these retire, I'm keeping them because I love these colors. All right. Color the dark pineapple punch. And then we'll come in with the call me clover. These leaves kind of remind me of ones that I used to draw as a kid. Maybe that's why I like this stamp set so much. Just kind of bring that green in, color them in, I've been doing a lot of coloring lately, to me it's just very calming when things start to get crazy in our world, in our lives, and that seems to be the thing these days, okay, that's how quick and easy that was, hi Shelly, I see you joined us. We did some coloring on white embossing powder. Okay, so we'll set this on the inside, and that card's done. I didn't stamp anything only because I don't know who I'm going to send this to yet. So there's our two cards for the day. What do you think? Pretty quick and easy. Um, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you spending some time with me this morning. You can get all the measurements for today's card and all the links to everything that I use. Just go to my blog post for today at scrapsbysissy.com, and if you shop, this is the host code for May. I hope you guys have a wonderful Wednesday, and if you have any questions, just leave comments in the video. Thanks for stopping by. Take care.